Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another story time video. This story time video is a, um, I guess, a conjunction with the uh, Modern Vintage Collectors 100 sub contest. And uh, what he wanted to know was what is our biggest faux pas or regret. And so I decided to do a story time video over this. And mine is pertaining to this card right here the 2011 tops update Mike Trout yes I'm showing you a on-screen picture of it because I do not have it <laughs> as everyone who probably does not have it wishes they had it but I used to have it before I get into what happened to it just a little background I I've been collecting cards for a while. Um, earliest I can really remember back in 1982, I would have been four. Um, collected pretty strong up until about 93-ish, whenever I got into high schools and kind of took a time out, you know, chasing girls and whatever else, you know. Um, and after I got married and uh, we were expecting our first child, my oldest son was born in 2011. I, I was just thinking back, you know, things whenever I was a kid, things I want to do with my kids, and collecting cards was something that I grew up loving to do, and I remember doing that with my dad early on, so I kind of wanted to do that with my kids. So in 2011, I started going back and buying packs again, and collecting cards and now that's one of the sets that I'm trying to work on getting signed I like to get the whole set signed just so I've got it for my son at some point if he ever wanted it or whatever and not really being big and current on the uh, collecting I didn't know what all was good and what all wasn't good I knew I watched baseball so I knew you know some of the current good players but whenever the 2011 Tops update came out, I really didn't know who Mike Trout was. He wasn't a big name on my radar. And I had one of the cards. And because of what I do, I collect autographs. And spring training is a big part of my collecting, as you may have seen in some of my previous videos. So spring training of 2012... I mailed out my 2011 Topps Update Mike Trout card and have not seen it since. <laughs> There's always the hope that someday it may show up, that Mike Trout will find it tucked away in a box somewhere and read my letter, sign it, and send it back to me. The downside is I have moved since then. So even if it does get sent back, who knows if it will ever actually make it to me. So, um,. Yeah, my biggest regret, I would say, is sending that card out. But at the time, I didn't know what it was going to be worth. I mean, now, ungraded, they're averaging about $300 a card, you know, and goes up from there being graded. So, uh, again, Chris, congratulations on the 100 subs. It's a big milestone. You know, there are many more to go because you've got such a great channel. And if any of you haven't checked out his channel, I'll leave a link down below. You should definitely check out uh, Modern Vintage Collector. Uh, great, great content. I mean, oddities and behind the photos and just in general, good stuff, man. So yeah, this is my, uh, my faux pas. My biggest regret is uh, sending that card out. But hey... If it would have came back, it would have been very nice to have signed. <laughs> As always, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.